I'm Zoe Leach. And I'm Tristan Mann. Welcome back to another Lotus Leaf Live-ish broadcast. The first semester is pretty close to its end, so anyone who is interested in joining Lotus Leaf, feel free to see Mr. Cornett in room A219. A November print edition has been released, now featuring our winter sports and Black Friday articles. I'm going to have to zoom in. It's still Senior Portrait Month. If you're interested in getting a free senior portrait taken, sign-ups are available on the Senior Class Google Classroom. On Wednesday, November 30th, there will be a spaghetti dinner held at Arborwood Elementary. There will be dinner and a game night held from 5 to 7 p.m. Black Friday is one of my favorite times of the year. The unreasonable violence is in the air and the deals are on the shelves. And I'm here to show you some of the history of my favorite holiday. Check it out. Black Friday is a day a lot of people look forward to, whether it's for the deals or the Friday morning fights. There's a little bit of something for everyone. But when did it all start? The day after Thanksgiving has always been recognized as the start of the shopping season. This might have been the result of Thanksgiving parades often featuring Santa Claus at the end of parades, signaling that Christmas is just around the corner. Now that's where the day after Thanksgiving shopping started. But where did the name Black Friday come from? Well, the adjective black has been added in front of a lot of days to indicate days of great catastrophe or calamity, like this. Wow. Now these two wouldn't be combined until a lot later than that. One theory about where Black Friday as a term came from is that retailers would often operate at a loss, marking their losses in red ink. It wouldn't be until the start of the shopping season, that Black Friday, they would use black ink to mark where they started gaining money. You can also read more about this. Uh, you can also read more of my thoughts about Black Friday in Lotus Leaf, Lotus Leaf's November edition, right here. So you can go like read that and then come to the Lotus Leaf room and tell them that you think it's the best thing in there. You know, because I wrote it, so obviously it will be. Recently, Monroe High's Drama Club have brought Bye Bye Birdie to life on the Monroe High School stage. Here's a sneak peek. I'm Zoe Leach and welcome back to the Clubhouse, where I show you around all the clubs here at MHS. Today I'm here with Drama Club and we're going to talk about their newest musical, Bye Bye Birdie. Would you describe like the group as like a family? Definitely, in every way. Um, what are like practices like? Can you walk us through like a practice? They're fun, but they're also like really business. We get stuff done. Yeah, I went to Tech Week yesterday. It was a lot. Yeah, Tech Week is a little crazy for all of us, but we hold through, we stay strong. Can you just tell me about how Drama Club has just impacted you? So Drama Club was like the first thing I got involved with finally coming here after COVID, and it just gave me like a whole new friend group almost. like. Almost all of my friends I've gotten through Drama Club, so, yeah. That's great. Yeah. And what was the auditioning process like for this character? Um, the audition was very uh, intimidating. It was very intimidating. I had a lot, um, there was a lot of talent up against me. It was really fun, though, to kind of see myself go up there and have this amount of, I want to say, like, confidence that I have. Yeah. yeah. I'm Zoe Leach. And I'm Tristan Mann. That's all we have for you this week. Remember to make it happen, Monroe. We'll see you next time.